so here in Eclipse I have nothing but a blank project well the project is called mm, let's see it was explicit intent test so here in my graphical layout as you guys can see it says hello world there's actually nothing written inside there's a main right so what I need to do is I need to make another activity first so I'm gonna right click on this I'm gonna say new other Android activity click next blank activity click next call it activity B and now if you see the layout name it looks pretty weird activity underscore activity underscore B I'm gonna remove that make it click next click finish so at this point if you see my source folder inside there are two activities that is your main and your activity B now what I wanna do is I wanna call this activity B from my main activity so let me actually open my main activity code and see I'm gonna remove this garbage alright so when do you wanna call the activity that's one of the things now let's assume that we have a button that we click on the button and the other activity is called so we are gonna do that alright so first I'm gonna go to my layout of my main activity which is your activity underscore main dot xml I'm gonna go there I'm gonna add a button over here below this hello world so the button is added I'm gonna give it a name by saying click here next I'm gonna use the Android on click attribute to decide which method should be called when the button is clicked now if you guys haven't seen how buttons work you can go ahead and check my previous videos where I've talked about the view dot on click listener and the Android on click attribute so if I say Android on click so here I can simply say do something that's the name of the method so inside my main activity I need to go and make this method do something right so I'm gonna say do something control space and I'm gonna make that method right so next if I go to and say public I'll make this access public because Android system needs to see it and it also needs to take a parameter which is going to be view V this is the button which was clicked again as I said you guys can go ahead and check the previous bit of buttons if you have not seen this before I'm not explaining how buttons work over here alright next I'm gonna make an object of button by saying button B simple I'm gonna say B equals to find view by ID I'm gonna link my XML button to my Java code by saying R dot ID dot the button ID which I gave and I'm gonna simply press control 1 and add typecast to it because it returns in context basically I need to convert it to a uh, what you call it, it returns a view basically you need to convert it to a button if you guys haven't seen the button bit you can check it out over there I've done all this in detail over there so next at this point everything is set up now if my button gets clicked this method do something will be called alright so here what I need to do is here is where I need to call my other activity so first let us actually go and see what is there inside my activity b underscore xml it says hello world I don't want this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit the text over here by removing this string hello world and writing inside activity b alright now this is not the recommended way you should put this inside your strings.xml but for simplicity I'm not doing that now so here I'm gonna make an intent because I need to call the other activity I'm gonna say intent i is new intent now as I told you there are two things one you need to tell where you are currently you're inside this class that is your main activity right and then you need to tell uh, what is the name of the class that should be called so I can say activity b dot class this is very important remember you don't simply write activity b you have to specify that dot class extension over here without fail and then at this point it's gonna probably give me an error you need to import this I'm gonna press control 1 over here and then bam the import is done you can go over here at the top and you can see android.content.intent that's the class right and now I'll say start activity control space so here I have my start activity method I'll simply pass i inside this and we are done so let me actually go ahead and run this by saying select this on the left side click run at the top android application click ok alright so here in my emulator my app is already running as you guys see there's hello world in my main and there's a click here button if I click on this this method do something will be called right and then I'll have my object created for this intent and then if I see start activity i it's gonna go ahead and actually start my activity underscore p so let's actually see that in action by clicking here click over here and bad bam there you go it says inside activity B so it's working perfectly there's another way of doing this let me actually go to Eclipse and show you that also so here what I've done is I have supplied the context which is your current place where you are this this and this activity B dot class there's another way I can actually do this I'll remove both these statements I'll keep this blank right control s go down I'll say I dot set class name and there is this uh, method which says string package name and string class name I'm gonna use that I'm gonna put two empty strings first let's fill them out so in the first place you tell the package it is slide note dot weaves for my case and then you tell the class which is again you have to specify the full class name along with the package by saying slide note dot weaves dot activity p so here this is the same now let me actually go and run this the same time I'm gonna select it over here click run at the top so there you go our app is again running this time we have used a different way of connecting both the 
uh, activities I'm gonna say click here and again here it's gonna set this package name this class name and bam there you go it says inside activity B so as you guys see it's working either way you can use either that approach or you can use this approach but remember here you need to know which activity needs to be called you need to know that this is activity B right so this works only within the same app if you have cross application connectivity then you have to use implicit intents so I hope you guys have understood something out of this vid in the next vid I'm gonna talk about how to make this even better alright so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know what you think about this thanks for watching I'll catch you guys later have a nice day